Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CIE. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And really, uh, kind of makes my life a little easier in terms of answering questions. Hey Clay, what do you think? What about, you know, this chart? And the easiest way to look at this and for me to answer it is, you know, the bears own 100% control of this thing as long as the price is down below that purple line, which is de decreasing in value or downtrending. That is the famous 50 period simple moving average, a very important, a very famous, you know, technical indicator within the world of charts. And you know, you may be thinking, well, well, no, no kidding. Well, that's why I love charts. It makes things very simplistic. So again, bears are in 100% control as long as the price is below this purple line. Even with any sort of strong upwards price movements to give credit where credit's due, here's a nice little move here on the bulls part, but that's just very short term. Taking a step back, any sort of upwards price action needs to be looked at very skeptically. I don't know if that's a word, but with a skeptical eye. Even any sort of sideways price action. Sideways, look at it with a skeptical eye because as history has shown us, even if the price starts to go sideways and maybe looks like it's trying to build a bottom, as it stands right now, there have been no bottoms. And I bring that up because you look right now and they give some credit or credit. So yeah, the bulls are trying to build a bottom. The price has managed to start to go sideways. But that, does that mean it's a bottom? Uh, you can play it, but you better not touch charts like this unless you're very disciplined and have an understanding of how to, you know, develop and implement, you know, trade plans based on risk analysis and risk control because these ones can turn out and spin out of control very uh, quickly if you're undisciplined and don't know what you're doing. But again, yeah, the price is going sideways. Am I saying that's a guaranteed bounce? I'm not saying that, but it does make a pretty interesting setup. Uh, as it stands right now, there does appear to be some buyers right around the 46, 47 cent level. So if those buyers can stick around long enough, potentially see some sort of upwards price action. Uh, but again, from more of the macro view of things, the big picture, bears are in full control as long as the price is below that purple line. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.